life, your news. You're watching Fox 24 News at 9. A wanted man linked to the death in Johnson County has now been arrested. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Kelly O'Neill. Police have been searching for 29-year-old Robert Wayne Baker since the death of Christopher Farmer on the west end of Highway 352 in Johnson County, February 15th. Now, the wife of the victim, Jackie Farmer, is also in custody. Farmer and Baker were spotted in a stolen vehicle trying to evade authorities at the time of the accident. Police reports show that a local called law enforcement early Sunday Sunday morning to report his car had been stolen and believed Baker was the one who did it. He then gave police a possible location of where they could find the suspect in the victim's wife. Right now, the two are currently sitting in custody at the Johnson County Detention Center. Around Arkansas, the Eureka Springs community continues to mourn after two teenagers died and four were injured after a car accident in Carroll County. The crash happened Friday night just before 5 p.m. on County Road 219 in Berryville. According to the Arkansas State Police crash report, two people died and four were injured. The victims taken to the Washington Regional Hospital, all six were minors. According to the report, the vehicle was driving at a high rate of speed, lost control, and hit several trees before coming to a final stop. Eureka Springs Schools posted this to Facebook. We extend our thoughts and prayers to the families and friends of the students involved in Friday's accident. Many counselors and therapists will be on hand at the high school on Monday to assist students in their time of need. Thousands of people drive on roads throughout the natural state every single day. Some may, some may make common mistakes that could leave you with a citation or even severely injured. Fox 24's Lance Lloyd hits the roadways in Fayetteville with law enforcement to get a glimpse of what they see in a single day. Let's face it, some of those things we do while driving could be second nature or even habits, but what you might not realize is they could be illegal. That's why we teamed up with police today to bring you the rules of the road. Just a few seconds can mean the matter between life and death. Many use these roadways every single day to get around. I really have a hard time with people who are inconsiderate drivers. And some admit they have to deal with behaviors that are irritating. You don't want to be going too slow. While riding around with Sergeant Craig Stout with Fayetteville Police, we learned it's actually illegal to drive slow in the left lane, also known as the passing lane. It is designated for passing vehicles. Um, you know, once you've successfully passed a vehicle, then you will merge back over into the right lane. Police say you cannot continuously operate a motor vehicle in the left lane of traffic. Traffic. They speed up and race around me and pull in front of me. But Sergeant Stout says you still need to stay in between the lines of the law. You have to remember that the speed limit is the speed limit. Um, it's not a suggested speed. It is, you know, this is the maximum amount of speed that you're allowed to go. A few folks around town say they're guilty of lounging in the left lane, even a limousine and Uber driver who makes his living on the road. And I've actually had people come up behind me doing 80 and flashing their lights just for me to move over. Cruising in the left lane might only land you a citation, but Sergeant Stout says things like jaywalking he is crossing in a place not intended or texting and driving well, could leave you and others seriously injured or worse. Studies have shown that distracted driving is right behind uh, driving while intoxicated whenever it comes to safety. But while all of this plays a part of being safe on the road, both police and drivers agree that patience is the key. A lot of people don't utilize their driving skills or put them into use as they should be. People should take just a few more seconds on the road. A lot of this is just common sense. In Fayetteville, Lance Lloyd, Fox 24 News. All right, thank you, Lance. Well, a new bill that may fix the affordable housing crisis in Arkansas will receive its final vote tomorrow. Fox 24's Katie Davila is in Fayetteville with why home builders say this, bi this bill is built on a solid foundation. The more rules and regulations you have, the more it's telling uh, people that uh, are lower income earners that you don't want them living in your city. And, and we don't want that in Northwest Arkansas. Senate Bill 170 awaits approval on the House floor. Particularly in Northwest Arkansas where you see so much growth going on, prices get elevated so fast, there's nowhere for uh, workforce housing to live. If passed, the bill would allow more affordable housing for workforce members like teachers, firefighters, police officers, and nurses. Arkansas already has a shortage of affordable and attainable housing, and so we hope that it will encourage more building of affordable and attainable housing. 
State Home Builders Association Board of Directors member Ben Booth says with the bill, he hopes freedom is granted for all home buyers in the natural state. Dictating what kind of landscaping you have to have, the brand or a certain style of windows, or that the exterior has to be all brick. We think it's the individual property rights of that homeowner to build and buy what they choose. According to the National Association of Home Builders, the average house in Fayetteville costs $225,000. For every $1,000 added to the cost of a home, almost 400 home buyers are priced out of the market. We know that in the next 10 years, there's going to be a major shortage of affordable housing. Between 20 and 25 percent of the cost of a home is already government regulations. We feel we need to stop this at the state level. Excluded from the bill, commercial buildings, historical structures, multifamily homes, and neighborhoods neighborhoods protected by their property owners association. The Arkansas Municipal League laying neutral on the bill, a position Booth calls a home run for home builders. We worked with them with some amendments to make sure they were with us and completely neutral on the bill. is a big win for the home builders. This is a no-brainer for the legislature to support the people and protect their property rights. It's certainly going to make a bunch of mayors upset that feel like they should uh, tell you what color to paint your house. In Fayetteville, Katie Devella, Fox 24 News. Our area is home to a special group of individuals who are trailblazers, innovators, and difference makers. We call them movers and shakers. Tonight, Fox 24's Chris Fry highlights a River Valley mayor whose recent efforts were a first for the city of Fort Smith in the most symbolic of ways. Just listening. Chris, that's what people want. Mayor George McGill has your attention. They want someone to share their story with. Whether it's telling a great story. Oftentimes, if you listen long enough, they'll solve their own problem. Or helping his neighbor. It was always a good place to live, even during the times when I was a kid. He's Fort Smith to the core. I refer to Fort Smith as her because uh, I was born here. The son of a minister and social worker, McGill's heart was always for service and community. Our culture was one of getting out among the people. In spite of growing up in the segregated South, racial strife was rarely an issue. We lived a very comfortable life, even though we didn't have much. We, we lived a storybook kind of life. He attended the former Lincoln High School, an all-black school in Fort Smith. Despite the lack of resources, education was firmly rooted in every student who attended. The culture was one of excellence. That was ingrained in the students. Everything was driven around the word excellence. McGill graduated from the University of Arkansas in business administration. He used that knowledge to start his own company, McGill Insurance, which lasted 30 years. But as success grew in the late 70s, a bigger plan was taking shape. And it was an old friend, former state politician Carol Willis, that persuaded him to try something new. Carol called me up and asked if I would get involved in the campaigns of Bill Clinton. At that time, I had no interest in politics. He said, but we'll have fun. We'll travel the state. After helping Clinton win the governorship and then the presidency, McGill had a chance to serve in D.C. on Clinton's cabinet. Instead, he opted to make a bigger impact back home. Members of the community began to approach me about serving in the Arkansas legislature. At the time, I was enjoying my retirement. They put up a good case for me going to Little Rock. And in his first try, he was elected to the Arkansas House of Representatives, serving three terms. But once again, Fort Smith called McGill back home to fulfill a bigger purpose. Will I be able to help Fort Smith from this position? That question would be answered in a special election in August of 2018, when McGill was elected the city's first African-American mayor. When it was finally settled, I looked out and saw a mosaic, the most beautiful sight I'd ever seen. The African community was in the room, the Asian community, the Latino community, my white friends and neighbors, they were all there saying we're ready for change. In a book full of life and adventure, a new chapter is ready to be written for George McGill. And I firmly believe that my role has been bringing people together where we can have a common sense discussion about things that are important to all of us. Chris, thank you. While Mayor McGill found success as a business owner and state politician, he also served in the United States Army, saying his time gave him the strength and courage to pursue his dreams at the highest level. For more features from the Movers and Shakers series, visit our website, fox24news.tv. A grieving family is looking to change heartache into hope. Fox 24's Peyton Yeager shows us how one River Valley family is turning the loss of a child into a way to help other families remember their loved ones in a special way. 
I just literally tried to spend every single moment of every day with him that I could. The Holtzes called their son Superman. It's like, okay, we're going to take you back to see the doctor. And I instantly knew, okay, something's not right. After nearly seven months, William lost the ultimate fight. Brain malformations, seizures, septo-optic dysplasia. The Holtz went from planning a life with their child to planning his funeral. It was like sleepwalking. It was very, it was very surreal. It's, you try not to think about it when you do it. And they quickly realized the bills were piling up. They're very expensive. A year after William died, the Holtz has noticed there were other families feeling the same pain. I mean, just to be able to have someone to be there to talk about it with helps because the silence, the silence is deafening. Brooklyn and her husband Roy decided to start the Chelsea and William Headstone Foundation to help raise money for everyone to have a headstone. Everybody was on this earth and their story matters and they count and it's nice to be able to help aid in that. The first of many to receive aid from CNW, Chelsea Clifton. She was alive for less than a week. To lose a child is... There are no words. There's no words at all to describe the feeling. As the Greenwood couple walks the rows of memorials, we don't want anybody to be without. They look to honor all of the superheroes as their legacies become concrete. And their family may not even be alive anymore to do that for them. And that's a terrible thing. So our goal is to make sure that everybody, everybody, big, small, tall, homeless, not, has a headstone to be remembered by. In Greenwood, Peyton Yeager, Fox 24 News. Well, pieces of art made by slaves brought to the United States still sought out for museum collections. We take a walk through the 19th century. That's coming up in tonight's Hidden History Report. But first, Melissa? Well, the winds have been breezy today, and they've had quite a bite to them. Did things finally calm down to start the new work week? Find out after this. Closed captioning is sponsored by Park Hill Clinic for Women. Chris? Refreshing and satisfyingly delicious. Brahms' new garden bacon cheeseburger, chicken sandwiches, and salad are the real deal. Topped with tangy feta and mozzarella cheese, crispy strips of bacon, sweet and mild red onions, fresh cucumber, a hearty tomato slice, and finished with creamy ranch. It's the real deal for sandwich and salad lovers alike. For a limited time, only at your neighborhood Brahms. Why are Subaru Outback owners always smiling? Because they've chosen the industry leader. Subaru Outback holds its value better than any other vehicle in its class according to ALG. Better than Murano. Better than Santa Fe Sport. Better than Edge. Make every adventure a happy one with Subaru Outback. Maintain the love of your new Subaru with two years of complimentary maintenance. At DDS Dentures and Implant Solutions, we've been delighting patients for over 30 years. How have we been able to make people smile for so long? Because our mission is to delight every patient. The professionals at DDS Fort Smith provide innovative technology with state-of-the-art 3D imaging. And our on-site lab allows for affordable pricing. You can have it all. Low prices, exceptional care from our loving dental team. Become one of our delighted patients. Get the smile you've always wanted by calling DDS Springdale or Fort Smith today. In high school, people described me as bright, hardworking, and dedicated. That I had a big heart because I care about people and doing the right things. Now, everywhere I look, I see an entire community just like that. Learning more, doing more, and caring more. A community of mission, Harding University. Rain-X and road trips go hand in hand. Start with Rain-X Expert Fit Wiper Blades. They're easy to install, and the curved beam hugs the windshield for optimum contact. Then, add Rain-X Original Glass Water Repellent with the magic of Rain-X Water Beading and clear, streak-free wipes. Rain-X makes every journey safer with more spectacular views. Get the full line of Rain-X products at a great price at Walmart. Dental implants starting at $9.95. DDS Dentures and Implant Solutions in Fort Smith. Give us a call today. Your weather authority forecast with meteorologist Melissa Hall. 
It has still been breezy. Thank goodness it wasn't as breezy as it was yesterday. But the bad news is yesterday at least it came out of the south. Today it's been out of the northwest and things are cold. But that system that brought that dreary start to the work or to the weekend, a little bit of thunder to start your Saturday morning, a lot of wind. Well, check out what it is doing to the east coast. There's blizzard warnings all over the area. They're dealing with flooding on the eastern part of Arkansas. They had tornadoes in Mississippi and Alabama and as you can see they're dealing with winter weather just up and down or up into the New England area. Here though it has been a beautiful day but pay close attention to those trees. You see them shaking. That wind has been what we've dealt with all day. We didn't have 45 mile an hour gusts like we did yesterday but we sure did have 30 mile an hour gusts across the area and they took a bite out of those temperatures because they were out of the northwest like it is in Harrison, things are starting to calm down, and you notice that wind starting to slowly switch directions. Well, it's going to start coming back out of the south, and that's going to be a game changer heading into the start of the upcoming work week. Look at these dew points, though. In the 20s, 19 in Springfield, you probably have your humi humidifier going if you have one. You're keeping the lotion and the chapstick handy because it is so dry. Well, you combine that dryness with those winds, and we have a fire danger for tomorrow. Plus, we have cold wind chills. It already feels like it's below freezing, even though actual temperatures are right around there for the folks who don't have wind. Now, don't worry. We do see a warm-up, even though temperatures overnight tonight are going to drop. It has cloud coverage coming in, and it says we're going to start in the upper 20s. I don't think that's right. I think we start in the lower 20s. I don't think those clouds are going to make it here in time to make that big of a difference. Then the wind switches. As we get that wind back out of the south, things are going to start feeling great. It'll be another breezy day tomorrow, unfortunately. We'll have gusts in that 25 mile an hour range, but each day they seem to be getting less and less on the gusts as far as how strong they are. Now, by tomorrow afternoon, we're above average with temperatures. It turns into a beautiful day, and Tuesday starts wonderful. We start in the mid 30s. Things look to warm up even more, and all of that is coming ahead of our next system. Now, Kelly, our next system is going to be moving in late Wednesday into Thursday. This one does bring rain chances back into the forecast, but what I'm more concerned with is late next week. This is the one we're watching. Look at this one-two punch. We get cold air with this system, and then yeah, that's teens with highs in the 20s. I unfortunately didn't fat finger the keyboard and accidentally punch up the wrong numbers. Those are actual projected temperatures for next weekend, the first weekend of March, and it looks more like winter than anything we've had so far. All right, I'm going to definitely soak in the next two days, Melissa. Thank you so much. Switching gears to celebrate the hit Broadway musical Waitress coming to Fayetteville, Fox 24 has teamed up with the Walton Arts Center to give local pie bakers a chance to shine with the Baked from the Heart Pie Contest. Amateur and professional bakers can enter online through March 1st. Three finalists will be chosen to showcase their pies on Good Day and WA. The winner gets four tickets to see Waitress and the chance to serve their pie at the show. For more info on how you can enter the contest, head over to our website, fox24news.tv. Well, coming up, Razorback basketball going in the, right, the wrong direction. Can they recover? That's coming up after the break. Authentic Arkansas means music, history, art, politics, food, culture, nature, all waiting for you to enjoy. Travel our state. See what makes us special. We can't wait to show you. Visit us and learn more at ArkansasHeritage.com. Today, we're here to talk about trucks. I love trucks. Oh. What truck brand comes from the family of the most dependable, longest-lasting, full-size pickups on the road? I think it's the Chevy. Ford. It's not Ford. I think it's Ram. Not Ram either. That's it's Chevy. Chevy. Gorgeous. Current GM owners get a total value of $10,250 on this Silverado when you finance with GM Financial plus one-year Sirius XM All Access package. See your River Valley Chevy dealers. When I first started, I could uh, walk just a little bit and uh, my legs and hips would start hurting. I always said when I couldn't stand up in front of the boat and fish, I was gonna quit. But you know, I got where I couldn't, my balance was so bad, I was to fall out. But now, I went to the uh, Crystal Bridges Museum Saturday and I walked and walked and walked. I can actually tell it in about three weeks, really good. If the lines are busy, please try again. Well, 
up. That's my ride. Bro, that's your car? Yeah, it's pretty lit. Billy? Just drive, Mr. Johnson. The 2019 Toyota Camry. Right now, get $1,000 customer cash on a fun-to-drive new 2019 Camry. Hurry in today. Toyota, let's go places. Toyota of Fayetteville is the destination in Arkansas that promises a great experience in sales and service for every customer. Shop row after row of Toyotas. Right now, fall in love with a new Toyota and drive away in a new 2019 Toyota Highlander and receive $1,500 customer cash or 2.9% APR. Toyota of Fayetteville, off I-49 at exit 67A, just look for the American flag, the brand you want, and a name you can trust. Toyota of Fayetteville. The spirit, sights, and sounds of authentic Arkansas are alive in the Delta. Fill your soul with the blues that grew from our unique mixture of rich soil and hard times. Visit us and learn more at DeltaCulturalCenter.com. Park Hill Clinic, specializing in total health care for women for over 50 years. Your life, your news. You're watching Fox 24 News. In our Hidden History Report tonight, we take a walk through the 1800s. Fox 24's Dee Griffin shows us how an old slave ship ultimately brought art to the United States that is still sought out for museum collections. Now calm and serene, the Savannah River was once a bustling, active route for importing and exporting goods in the river region. But its proud past includes a perilous period that changed lives and later influenced a segment of art culture. The slave trade had been abolished in 1807 and really took effect in 1808. Um, but this is 50 years later, um, in December of 1858. Those slaves were brought to Georgia on a schooner called the Wanderer. Small boats were hired to take slaves up the Savannah River. About 200 were taken through the dark, murky water of Horseshoe Creek and into Edgefield County, South Carolina. There's newspaper accounts that talk about how intelligent they were, um, how quickly they learned when they came here and started working on the different plantations and whatever field they were, they were they were skilled laborers. Although ripped from their country with an uncertain future, the slaves would not let go of a piece of their past. While working for local pottery manufacturers, they created face jugs. They're very rudimentary, they're, they're very crude, they're very small, and it's believed that they practiced the voodoo religion, and so they believed that they could talk to ancestors through the face vessels. While no one can put a true price on the service of slaves, collectors are paying high dollar to get a piece of their work. They do fetch a large price, yes. Uh, at auction, they can go from anywhere twelve to $25,000. All right, well, coming up in sports, Arkansas women's basketball had a strong performance on senior day. Plus... Hog Baseball won two out of three this past week. We'll look at some of the bright spots from that trip out west. That's after the break. When dinner's under 10 bucks, it's almost like your next beer's on the house. Almost. Logan's American Roadhouse Meals. Eight great favorites for just $9.49. Every day between 3 and 6 p.m. Only at Logan's Roadhouse. Hey, Northwest Arkansas, Lara here at our beautiful Sam's Furniture Superstore. And if you're in need of new furniture, this is the place to shop. With over 170,000 square feet, you can't beat our selection. And it's all priced at Sam's everyday guaranteed low prices. Plus, because of our large in-stock inventory, you can take advantage of same-day delivery. So if you want the largest selection, guaranteed lowest prices, and to buy from a family business who loves and serves its community, get it at Sam's. Caribbean. It's Caribbean. Zaxby's Boneless Wings Meal with Caribbean Jerk Sauce for just $5.99. Featuring fruity mango, spicy habanero, and jerk spices. Full of flavor no matter how you say it. Or try it with any of our other nine delicious sauces. Zaxby's. Seventh grade teacher Andrew Young was tired of contacts and glasses, so he turned to McDonald Eye Associates for his LASIK procedure. Having glasses or contacts are a pain when you're in the classroom and trying to teach. You need them to look at the screen, call on students to see your computer screen. Vision is definitely very important in the classroom if you're trying to teach a class. With my new vision, I feel like I'm a better teacher. I'm glad I trusted my eyes with McDonald Eye Associates. If you're tired of glasses or contacts, call McDonald Eye Associates to schedule your free LASIK consultation. A 
Okay, it's Ford Truck Month, and here's how it works. You take Ford F-150, work in best-in-class towing and payload, sweeten up the offer, and boom. You save a stack of cash on the brand with the most J.D. Power, IQS, and Appeal Awards. And it's America's best-selling truck 42 years straight. It's buy now time, people. Now, during Ford Truck Month, get zero for 72 with zero down, zero payments for 90 days, plus 2800 in bonus cash on F-150. When dinner's under 10 bucks, it's almost like your next beer's on the house. Almost. Logan's American Roadhouse Meals. Eight great favorites for just $9.49. Every day between 3 and 6 p.m. Only at Logan's Roadhouse. Full replacement dentures starting at $3.95. DDS Dentures and Implant Solutions in Fort Smith. Give us a call today. Now, from Fayetteville, high on the hill. This is your Pit Trail Nation report, sponsored by Crane Automotive Team. Hey, what's up? Razorback basketball going in the wrong direction with four games left and one of the best teams in the country waiting on Arkansas Tuesday in a sea of blue at Rupp Arena. The Hogs fall in the bad category of our good and bad segment from this past week. They have five straight losses and one more will put Arkansas's record at 500 on the season. Mike Irwin has a great story going back to the archives on U.S. Reed. Baseball wrapped up the series win over USC Friday in L.A. But Saturday ended on a sour note. The latest on the Diamond Hogs trip out west and who they'll face in the return to Mom Walker Stadium this week. A 14 game homestand for Arkansas starts on Wednesday. In the meantime, softball getting the home run cycle from Danielle Gibson. At this time next week, we'll be talking about the first weekend of this Arkansas spring football season under second year head coach Chad Morris. Hogs. Kicking things off Friday, track and field among the elite in the SEC. The women number one, the men second. And, of course, we will recap the conference championships from Friday and Saturday. That's a look at what is coming up here in the Pig Trail 30-minute edition. Join us then. There's energy in Fort Smith. It's got a great economic development team uh, and our partnership with them where we market together. It's also about the business partners just like OG&E. We've recruited and secured over $700 million in new capital investment, 6,000 new jobs. Can you feel that? Can you feel the vibe? Can you feel that wave of positive energy? Hey, did you know that Chevy has seven great cars with a starting price under $26,000? Like this Camaro and this Malibu. And let's not forget this cruise sedan and cruise hatch. And finally, this Spark, Sonic sedan, and Sonic hatch. So no matter what you're looking for, Chevy has a car for you. That's awesome! Yeah! Get 2250 total cash allowance on most cruise and Malibu models when financing with GM Financial. Plus, current GM owners get an additional $1,000 cash allowance. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. Three things that matter most to us at DDS are your smile, protecting your hard-earned money, and providing you with the best dental care. The average cost of a single dental implant is around $2,000. At DDS, you can take advantage of our discounted implant price starting at $9.95. We offer more than just implants. Our services include dentures, crowns, filling extractions, and more at a fraction of the cost of other providers. Delivering the smile you've always wanted. DDS Springdale and Fort Smith. home, the world seems small. Here, it has expanded. I've been challenged and have grown in knowledge and in spirit. I've been part of something bigger, something special. Surrounded and supported by new brothers and sisters who were once strangers. And my sense of community and my role in it has grown too. Harding University, a community of mission. Toyota of Fayetteville is the destination in Arkansas that promises a great experience in sales and service for every customer. Shop row after row of Toyotas. Right now, fall in love with a new Toyota and drive away in a new 2019 Toyota Highlander and receive $1,500 customer cash or 2.9% APR. Toyota of Fayetteville, off I-49 at exit 67A, just look for the American flag, the brand you want and a name you can trust. Toyota of Fayetteville. Wilson Home Services is proud to sponsor the Fox 24 News. That's all our time for tonight. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back here tomorrow at 530.